Today we'll talk about delivery date control in Dynamics 365 and its new functionality, which is uh, available to promise with intercompany on hand capabilities. So before I dive in into Dynamic 365 for operations environment, I want to go over the functionalities we used to have in Dynamic 365 versus 2012. So this is the matrix that represents different delivery control types. Uh, so we have none which has no delivery date control whatsoever. Sales lead time remains the same in both environments. ATP for available to promise, we can see that there is a new column which is intercompany on hand and it's only available for Dynamic 365. ATP plus issue margin is the same concept. We just include additional issue margin. Uh, for CDP functionalities, which is capable to promise, uh, that stands for make to order manufacturing process, there are no changes. So we're gonna go over the next slide and uh, this is where you configure your delivery date control. And there are some minor changes that were made to the Dynamic 365 environment. In the X2012, there would be two different forms, default order settings and site specific order settings to configure your uh, delivery date control parameters. In Dynamics 365 for operations, site specific order settings form was removed and replaced by single default order settings form. Let's talk about delivery date control hierarchy and where the information comes from. So we we'll start from account receivable of parameters. This is where you set up a delivery date control type and uh, later I'm gonna go into the system and show you where it is. Uh, default order settings, uh, this form exists in both Dynamic 365 and X2012. However, site-specific order settings only exist in X2012. So you can also check your uh, delivery date control type on the sales order line. And later I'm gonna go in the system and show you how it's done. And here I have a list of attributes uh, for sales order line impacting the ship and receipt date. We have our mode of delivery, we can have different dates depending on the delivery type. We have our dimensions. Uh, this would be if you wanna ship from a warehouse A instead of warehouse B. You have a delivery address. Uh, this will change uh, your lead time depending on the transport time set to a specific state or region. Uh, then you have a delivery control, which is delivery control type. Uh, then you have your quantity, which will impact whether you have enough on stock or not. And then you have your ship or receipt date. So today we're reviewing intercompany order processing, ADP and direct shipment. So Microsoft's claiming on their Dynamics 365 roadmap website that the functionality was already released. And what they're stating that uh, there is a new form called delivery alternatives, which will provide you the ability to see whether you have on hand available quantities via intercompany. So there are some prerequisites set up for this to work. And uh, what do you have to do? You have to set up your intercompany vendors for the product you will be doing ATP for. So in our case, we'll be doing a transaction for item number Southern. Uh, this is the product. We can see that we have a default vendor ES802. Yes, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time uh, going through the intercompany setup. So before you go and perform this type of transaction, you need to make sure that the trading relationship is set to intercompany, is set to active. You also need to make sure that the purchase value mapping and sales value mapping is set up, otherwise the system will fail. So in our case, it's all set up. And what I want you to see, I want you to see the on-hand available for this particular item in the USMF legal entity. So I'm gonna go under Manage Inventory Action Pane and click on Hand Inventory. And the system will show me that we have a 406 quantity available in Site 1 and physical reserve is set to 406 as well. So basically we don't have anything available in the USMF legal entity. We also have uh, quantity of one available in the site two. Now I'm gonna go back to the USRT legal entity, which has the same product thousand and uh, we're gonna view the on hand for that product. So for that product, you can see that we have physical inventories thousand. So basically for the USRT, we have thousand available. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna perform a sales order transaction in the USMF legal entity where we have a intercompany vendor uh, set to the USRT legal entity. The next step would be going to sales 
in marketing or sales orders, you can access this form from different places in AX. We're gonna quickly create a sales transaction. We're gonna pick uh, any customer. We're gonna click, click OK. Uh, we're gonna enter our item number thousand. For the quantity, I'm gonna pick quantity of thousand each. Uh, as you can see, there is a delivery type defaulted on the sales order line, which I think is a new functionality to Dynamic 365. NAX 2012, it defaults on a line detail. Uh, so I'm guessing you can bring it to the line view in the X2012 as well. So, but, so I'm gonna pick my site warehouse. I'm gonna pick 13. I'm gonna put unit price. So now we have a warning message that we cannot reserve thousand. Basically, we don't have stock for that. And again, the reservation is set to automatic. The available to promise makes sense if you use automatic reservation. I'm gonna click OK. So now I'm gonna go on the line details on the delivery tab, and I'm gonna click to simulate delivery dates. You can see the delivery date control is set to ADP. And uh, we have the warning exclamation sign basically telling us that there is no stock available for us to ship thousand units. Uh, the options to pick your site and warehouse, they're exactly the same options as we had in the next 2012. You can also have your mode of delivery. So if you have your different dates depending on delivery type, the information will also change. So the new form that's available in Dynamics 365 is called delivery alternatives. So once we click that, we can see that the system shows us different site and warehouses option available. And then on the bottom part, we have our available to promise. We can see that the, the line represents quantity needed to fulfill that order. So if I go down to the site one warehouse 13, we, we see that we have 400 physically available. However, since the reservation is set to automatic, they're already being reserved, so we cannot really ship it. And you can see that the color is reflected, not available to promise. So once I click include partial quantity, we'll see a new line, which is line one. And uh, this represents a partial quantity that's available to ship. Uh, if you remember, when we looked at the on hand, we saw the quantity of one. This is our line and it's located inside two warehouse 24. There is no additional check mark include later dates. So this is from Microsoft website. By default, only suggestions that are better than the current dates on the sales order line shown. Select this option to include later dates. This option can be useful in situations where parameters other than the date have priority. For example, a specific vendor or a warehouse might be preferred. So this makes sense. A uh, good feature from Microsoft. Uh, we have our mode of delivery, which is uh, nice to have. It was uh, migrated from a previous form. But the new and exciting feature is include procurement. So once you click that, we can see that the intercompany sourcing origin showed up. So in our case, our sourcing company is a USRT. And we can see that the Southern available, which was reflected here in this USRT legal entity, is available for us to actually do a direct delivery transaction from. So once I do that, uh, once I select uh, delivery alternative line and click OK, the system will generate purchase order direct delivery type directly to the customer from USRT legal entity. I'm going to click OK. And we'll see the notification automatic purchase order creation. So if you want to follow up on that related purchase order direct delivery, you have to go to the related orders, click purchase orders. This will conduct our quick demo for available to promise intercompany availability in Dynamic 365. If you want to see more of a setup for ADP or CTP functionalities in Dynamic 365, please drop a line in the comments and I'll make sure to create another video for you. Until next time, goodbye.